I think uh, overall we had very good pace. We were just trying to, of course, do the best lap you could. Um, but uh, yeah, my, my final lap was maybe not, not the best out there. I just ran out of front tires, basically from the middle of the lap, and then yeah, you just can't get the really can't yeah get the rotation in. But overall, you know, to, to still be on pole um, like that, I think was good. You know, overall, I think oh, the whole weekend already. You know, over one lap we have been we've been very decent, but um, we we did need to work a bit more on the long run pace. We made a few changes after FP3 that hopefully will help for, for tomorrow. Mixed emotions. I didn't have a great opening to the lap. Uh, I lost there half a tenth or so. So um, I think overall, more than the result, it's how pleased I am, you know, to look back a couple of months ago when I was here. I, I think this place was last year one of the hardest uh, places for us because of what we were doing with the car. Um, high speed, long duration corners, medium speed content. Um, we were just compromising a lot our setup and now we seem to have found a much solid stability and I think if we are able to be as quick as we were today in Suzuka um, with so many high speed content, medium speed content, it puts me a smile to my face because then it shows that uh, we can be strong elsewhere. Uh, the pace was kind of there, but we knew it was going to be tough between us, Mercedes, Aston, Ferrari, so kind of eight cars which were pretty close and we knew that Red Bull had a little bit of an advantage. So, uh, yeah, we knew it was going to be tough, but it kind of all came through well. Good Q1, good Q2 and um, two good laps in Q3. So, uh, better than we were expecting. I probably wasn't expecting a P3 and to be only two tenths off Red Bull. So I think it's a, it's a good thing. So, happy with the result. I think so. I think we maximized everything today. Uh, already in FP3 we saw the top three today was going to be tricky, so to be uh, top four, it was a, a very clean lap, some very good laps from myself today, and uh, yeah, happy with the with the performance. Unfortunately, we don't have quite the, the edge this weekend to, to battle the Red Bulls, and still two tens behind McLaren. So yeah, we've improved massively compared to last year around here, but still, it's one of our weakest tracks. Yeah, yeah, extremely happy. I think uh, there is not much left on the car today. Um, uh, seems that we squeeze every every tenth of a second out there, but um, yeah, the last two runs in Q3 was a little bit on, a, let's say, on an uncomfortable level of risking. Uh, it, it didn't work in in Australia, for example. In in Q3, I went off in 10.6. Uh, when you drive at that limit, it's, it's just you know um, a little bit of luck as well that you complete the lap. Uh, but today everything was fine. Happy with P5. Yeah, I think Q1 looked quite competitive and quite strong for myself. Um, Q2, not quite as much, and then Q3, yeah, it's similar, similar kind of story. So I think just lost a bit of rhythm in, in Q2 and never quite found it again. Um, so yeah, be interesting to see where uh, where I could have improved. I'm naturally not happy with P7, of course, but uh, there was a couple of moments where we were higher up. Um, I, I was definitely hoping to potentially get a little bit closer, but it wasn't meant to be. But I, I'm happy with just the way the weekend's gone so far in terms of the progress we've made and set up. Been much, much happier to drive the car. Uh, it's uh, not good, uh, obviously, especially on a qualifying like this where if I rely on the filling, the filling is pretty good. If I look at the lap times after that, it's a disaster. So uh, these are one of those races where when it's the case, normally it's more the grip available from the car, but I don't quite have the explanation why we will have less grip, why I will struggle quite a lot more compared to Carlos until Q3, where maybe I was in a bit of a better shape, but overall I have been very, I have struggled, struggled a lot. Yeah, I think we did a great job in Q1 and Q2 and pulled the laps together, uh, but ultimately the car wasn't um, as competitive here as it has been at other circuits. And we knew that coming into this race weekend, we've had three circuits in a row now that have been high speed circuits and high speeds are our weakness. And that's just the nature of the calendar. Uh, we saw it much more competitive in Bahrain. I uh, feel a bit of pressure this time, I won't gonna lie, uh, but um, yeah, still able to go through Q3 and um, yeah, probably wasn't easy. Uh, the, the qualifying itself wasn't uh, Easier than, easy than expected. Uh, struggle with the balance, I would say. But uh, overall, as a team, uh, we did a fantastic job. Uh, you know, Daniel is just right behind me, so I think uh, we can play around with the strategy, whatever, and uh, try to score points. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, mixed, mixed emotions, because I think uh, 
like deep down, if we forget the the scoreboard, so to speak, I think uh, I think it was a good a good session. As you say, we didn't get any dry running yesterday, so we had a, a few laps this morning to get into it, including a spin, and then uh, yeah, obviously quick quick work to um, find those those few tenths in quality. So yeah, for that, like I'm I'm pleased with us, yeah, being pretty much there, but. It's not it's not q3 you know so that's that's where i was uh yeah i've i've uh it's been what 10 15 minutes so i've i've calmed down a little bit uh but no i'm not not that i was angry but just yeah the competitor in me of course when you i knew i was p10 and then you when you get bumped by it just a little bit uh yeah it would have been would have been nice to give give the guys a boost the lap deleted didn't matter because it was the used tire run um no, very happy, very pleased with, with the performance, uh, clean laps, good laps, uh, enjoyed that quality. Last year I had a, a messy one here and you know this year I was really keen to, uh, to push a clean one out and uh, managed to do that. Um, and I think we you know, exploited really the maximum of, of the car, of our package, um, even if it's really you know, marginal that we missed Q3, uh, that was really as good as it, as it is. So uh, very happy yesterday, you know, P1 things seemed not so good. Um, as expected, our package is, is not super happy around here, so uh, I'll take 12s happily. I think, yeah, the Q1 lap was really, really sweet and uh, good compared to, to others. And uh, yeah, Q2, obviously, I tried to find more. Only could find a few hundreds more. Um, but uh, I think eventually, when everyone starts to get their laps together, you know, you kind of fall in the, in the order of performance. But, uh, but it's good to see that we're really knock, knocking the door of Q3. Uh, this weekend, um, like it was last last race, so uh, we're definitely making small steps. Struggling a little bit, struggling all weekend. Um, obviously, never really, or no one did any laps uh, yesterday, and we were a little bit on the back foot from the first session, so it compromised us a little bit more throughout the weekend so far. Honestly, the car didn't feel bad in, in qualifying, I was pretty happy with it. Um, just this tarmac, so aggressive, so, so um, chews up the tyres quite a lot, so. Uh, Overheating in the in the qualifying laps is is a uh, tricky to manage. Kind of in the middle of race management in a quality lap, it's not that fun. You know, looking at just before the session, we are looking at what we could do, and getting into Q2 looked impossible. So we were happy to to get into Q2 to maximize the potential once again of the car. I think we are doing a, a strong job at the moment with uh, with the team, but it's a small satisfaction. Uh, Let's call it like that, and we need to find more performance for the future. Keep digging all the little details, and and pray for something to happen tomorrow to to get a point. Um, so uh, yeah, good lap in Q1. Unfortunately, not enough in Q2. Uh, we had in hand. Yeah, everything felt fine. Just very slow today. No pace in the car, and um, no pace in myself in, in my car. Uh, the car looks quick, and Fernando was quick. So um, I don't know. Don't have more answers. Straight out of the car, I think we need to. Uh, yeah, analyze a bit more um, in details. I think sector one was uh, clearly looked strong and the car felt good. And then after that, just sliding over uh, the place uh, with the rear tires. So it just feels like we overheated um, over the tires way too early on the lap. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll analyze and, um, and uh, yeah, try to, to learn for next time. I think we improved the car for qualifying, but uh, we started quite far from uh, from where we qualified with with the setup yesterday, <clears throat> so it's it's not been the cleanest run up to to qualifying, and uh, we'll run this this setup tomorrow. But I think, as I said, we we improved um, we improved the car and the consistency, but still just lacking pace. Um, we knew this track wasn't going to be our track, uh, but on top of that, I think on on our side of the garage, the build up to the weekend, maybe um, we just missed the beat a little bit, but. Um, Anyway, we, uh, we have a race tomorrow and hopefully, like the, the three first races, we can make some, some ground in, in the race, um, certainly a try. I think it was a good turnaround from yesterday, first of all. Um, credit to the team um, getting the car turned around. Um, and I feel like I had a good turnaround from P3 to Quali. Um, certainly wasn't super comfortable this morning, but um, felt like I put in a, a pretty decent lap there. and Only a tenth and a half from the cutoff is, is painful and to be P19, um, it's tough. I, I just think we've missed a little bit as, as a team this weekend. Yeah, we made a lot of change because we didn't get enough flapping at P3, unfortunately, with the issue we had. So for me, it was difficult to, let's say, predict the car. I think the lap, it wasn't perfect, but it was a smooth lap with no major mistake, besides from the last chicane. 
the car was uh, sliding quite a bit than I expected, where I think that was the lap time to the cutoff. But uh, yeah, unfortunately today it was always going to be difficult.